Welcome to Yoga Express, the mobile stretch clinic that takes yoga to the people. Today we're going to explore the different benefits of yoga, the possibilities that exist when we practice yoga. Many of us know yoga has very simple benefits, but it also has extended benefits. It has simple benefits like improving our posture, improving our attitude. And when I say simple, I mean these are direct benefits. We talk about extended benefits, like when we improve our lung power, we're able to play different musical instruments, wind instruments, the way our special guest today, Stefan Josephs, is going to demonstrate in between some of the stretches that we do. Before we go ahead, let me introduce Amy Kitchener to my extreme left, Stefan Josephs, our special guest. Stefan is a composer, and actually, Stefan, I'm going to a composer, a flutist, conductor. and a conductor. I'm yes. going to have him say that. Composer, conductor, and flutist. If you want to reach Stefan after this episode, I'm sure you'll want to contact him. You can email him at scjosephs at aol.com. Stefan has released a few CDs as well. Fireworks, Romanza, and was there a third one, Stefan? Well, actually, there are four. The other one is called Dance Party and Natural Selections. There you go. Stefan does composition and arrangements for patriotic numbers. Yeah, one, right. some of them, were, yes, patriotic numbers and romanza and, and, romanza. and original compositions for Thank flute you. with lyrics. Lovely. Thank, Thank you, you, Stefan. I'd like to introduce Annie Hansen to my right, to my extreme right, Judy Jacob. Judy and Amy have been with us in many episodes before. Annie has been with us in a few of the episodes before. Now, Stefan is going to tell us a little bit. We have a kind of a mini interview with Stefan before we go into some of the stretches. But first of all, Stefan, I'm curious, and I'm sure our participants here might be curious because Annie herself is a singer, correct? Annie has been practicing breathing techniques in yoga. Yoga has, before I go ahead, I might as well get on with my little mini commercial here. Anyone needs a copy of Yoga Secrets? Email me or go to my website, yogaexpress.com. It's up on the screen. This book, this box contains 10 ailment-specific cards, which actually depict the 48 simple stretches. And you also have a fridge magnet and a business card with a sequence on the back, so there's no escape, no excuse for not practicing. We air Monday through Wednesdays, 1.30 p.m. on RCN. Let me get you the correct channel. That'll be Fios 35, RCN 84, and Time Warner 57. If you want to join us, email me or go to www.mnn.org. Stefan, I had some questions, and I'm sure Judy, Amy, and Annie might have a couple of questions in between you playing the flute. I can okay. see you're already raring to go. That no, shows no, your passion. I'm just, I'm that shows your passion. That's wonderful. It's so inspiring to be here. Tell me, what inspired you what in, first of all, let me tell you what motivated me to interview you and okay. to invite you over to our program. I had heard that you played the flute in headstand. Yes. Now, I'm already seeing a yoga connection right there, and I would like yoga to take the credit for improving your lung power. I'm not sure if you've practiced yoga before, but this sounds very intriguing. Towards the end of our program, Stefan is going to do a couple of minutes playing the flute in headstand. Before then, we don't want to distract him. So, Stefan, tell us a little bit. I notice you have a lot of instruments right here. What are these different instruments called? First well, of all? this this would be um, the these are direct below. This is actually from India, uh -huh. and these these two here. This is a recorder, and many people, all school children, play this. But right. the uh, which is all wonderful for breath and etc. But does nothing for, well, let me play a little bit of this yes, one. Yes, please. And so on. So this this one has uh, has two pitches going on at the same. Right. But it does nothing for the 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 development of the facial muscles. I uh, I I heard a few days ago uh, from from a practitioner of Tai Chi that actually the face has more muscles than than yes. any 
any I can other read part the rest of, of the body. Of the body. So Let's what see. I have found with what, what these are transverse flutes, where it requires an embouchure and rather than just simply blowing in, is that um, you you're developing the face and bringing blood to the face, which is essentially what. I use standing on my head for. Well, that's already Be rushing blood to your face, right? Exactly, Wonderful. exactly. So, and and then I have also heard in, in terms of standing on your head, how man has developed to walk on two legs too early. Ah, what is and, that? And so, in a sense, that the standing on your head is, is a compensation of that in, in the fact that you're really able to stretch your legs. So with, with the flute, If I were to go into extreme and, and really play high notes, you would see much more of the facial muscles going. I'm gonna give you some room. So, in other words, all of the the energy, the concentration of the breath, is just coming out of this little aperture. But you're still using all the facial muscles. And you're muscles still using and trying to do them in balance. Right. You know, because many flute players will, and myself included, if, if they don't work on the balance of the facial muscles, will play lopsided, you know. And, and it'll show in the music that comes it'll out It'll show, of the flute. and then w right. with so much of camera work nowadays and close-ups, it's, it's, it's not going, to, you won't have the flexibility if the muscles are not balanced. So, right. with the low note, So you see that low and high and right. how, how you are using the face. Wonderful. It sounds very nice and soft. It starts off nice and soft and then you take it to a higher pitch. That's right. The, what the, is this? Now this, this is, uh, the flute was actually about eight to ten years ago they discovered a Neanderthal flute from 30,000 to 37,000 years ago in the cave in Europe. And you don't it was mind if made we stretch. You're inspiring no. us to okay. stretch as we well, go. Let's, no, you let's keep talking. Do that. Keep talking. Okay. The so, flute. <laughs> I love and that. The, and, and it was made from a woolly mammoth tusk. Wow. And and it was obviously that because of the way that the caveman right. put uh, with the holes in it, it was obviously a flute. So the flute is. So what I call this, although many is the flute is so universal and, and probably, other than the drum, the earliest instrument, okay? Right. Uh, the drum was used for communication. As and, early and as Lord Krishna? Well, you, you, you can that, tell right? me, <laughs> yes. I just know that Krishna was, but in many cultures, the, the flute is, so, Very and powerful. the drum. And so, but the flute would be the, the oldest melodic instrument. So, right. um, I call this, the natural flute. It doesn't like this one has many keys, keys right, uh, right? But this one is keyless. So in other words, if uh, you you put me in the woods with a knife right. and said you're not coming out till you come out with a flute or you, you won't get anything to eat, this is what you know with. you would you would come let's out. Let's hear you play that. Did you play that? I need to get focused on the holes here. Take your time. Continue stretching while I just find yeah. myself here. Follow me, we'll, we'll do some of those stretches. We'll do the cat. Mm -hmm. Actually, I like the idea of stretching to music. Yes. I'm trying to follow the seated 
asthma sequence for chest openers to build lung power. Let's get on our heels. Oh, that is soothing. That's nice, Stefan. Inhale. Yes, I'm trying to figure out the beautiful Korean melody called Ariran. Wow, keep going. We're enjoying it. Left heel tucked under the right butt. Right foot over the left knee. Inhale your left arm up. Exhale. Bring your left elbow over your right knee. Push your right knee back. Try to touch your knee or hold your right thigh. Turn to look to the right. Stefan's music is inspiring us to hold. Release your left hand. Inhale, bring your left arm up. Release, change legs. Right heel under the left butt. Left foot over the right knee. Torque your body to the left. Inhale, raise your right arm. Exhale, bring your right elbow over. Hold your left knee or your left thigh and turn back. Hold. Inhale, turn your head back to the front. Raise your right arm, release your right hand, and let's extend. Keep the left leg extended. I'm going to stagger back. Place your right foot on the floor close to your left thigh. Bring your heel closer to the groin. Inhale, raise your right arm. Exhale, fold forward. Keep exhaling. Twine your right arm around your right knee. Take your left hand from behind. Try to clasp your right hand. And then look to the right. Let's see if we can try and hold it for a few seconds. Enjoy Stefan's music. Release your hands, release your right leg, extend your right leg out, inhale, bring the left foot in, close to the right thigh, inner right thigh, push your left knee in, inhale, this time we're going to torque the body to the right, inhale, raise your left hand, exhale, fold forward, keep exhaling, and twine your left arm around your left knee, take your right hand from behind, clasp your right and left hand, turn to look left, keep inhaling, keep breathing, as we inhale, try to straighten your back, build lung power, so we can play the flute as Stefan does someday, release, release your arm, release your left leg, now, your left foot is folded where it is. Tuck it right under your uh, left foot tucks under the right thigh. Take your right foot this time. Tuck it over the left knee. This time make sure both the soles face back. Left knee is over. Right arm comes up. Inhale. Yeah, um, sorry. Left arm comes up. Thank you, Amy. Left arm comes up. Exhale, bend your left hand at the elbow behind your trapezius muscles. Now, take your right palm, twine it around, and try to grab your hands. Hold the left, the fingers in the left and right hand. Clasp your hands together. And now, puff up your chest, look up, inhale. Gently release your hands. Bring your left arm down. Bring your right hand forward. Let's switch legs. Let's look 
sleep. It's so soothing. Keep going, you're doing good. Tuck your right heel under your left butt and your left foot goes over the right knee. Both feet, soles facing the back. So now your knees should be aligned. This is called cow face in yoga. The arm that goes up is like the ear of a cow. So inhale, raise your right arm up. Bend, exhale and bend your right arm at the elbow and place it behind your neck between the trapezius muscles. Take your left hand from behind, clasp your hands together, bring your chest up, and hold. Let's enjoy Stefan's music. Inhale, bring your right arm up, release both the hands very gently, stretch both the legs out, and we have a few questions for you, Stefan. We're feeling all stretched. I, I just want to say that, that one, one of the soothing. thank you, thank you. One of the benefits nice. of this is that also you can really see the the looseness as well as yes. the tightness on the on the other flute so that right. so when I'm more, playing there's more, relaxing? there's more you can see the vibrato in the cheeks uh, now I lost my finger holes <laughs> so inspiring actually oh. we wanted to stretch I was giving the instructions very gently right. we were able to go in rhythm with your music you think you can actually play a whole tune someday maybe create some music for our sequence that would be absolutely nice. yes All right. I'm gonna yeah. get in touch with you about yeah. that that would, be nice. that would. It, it would it was be very, very soothing nice. it was because very even though I was sitting background. very close to you I was wondering if I was going to be in your way no no it was very relaxing very soothing we're curious to know what are you working on right now do you have a new number or a new CD or something are you planning on putting something well, together? Well, I am conductor of the Army Band here in New York City. Nice. And uh, so I, I have arranged my pieces, uh, the ones that I recorded on the Dance Party and Natural Selection and Fireworks, right. for full band. Okay. And I also conduct the New York String Society. I started that group. And I have uh, written these, arranged these pieces for orchestra. So. Right. Uh, that's that's mostly so I've been doing a lot of writing and arranging of, of these compositions. You're talking about writing music. Yes, but actually the music is basically written, but just arrange it for a larger group. Right, right. For a larger group. So would you say, so you're working on that now? When do you think it'll be? Is it going to be published? Well, uh, you already have some published CDs. Yes, you know yeah, that. yeah, and copy written. They're all copy written. I I just need to look into the legalities of. Of Recreating. whether no whether I can even uh, record these with with let's say an army band which is right. the United States government you know so I'm not going to do anything illegal at, at, right you want to be careful that's right course, so I want to make sure but of course the orchestra is is mine so while you were playing that we went through about six <laughs> stretches okay. and I found and they were all seated stretches so I found it very soothing to have this kind of music in the background we have some music that we use constantly as right. well, which is great, but also this calms us down. I'm curious, what made you take up flute? Why not the drums or the piano? Well, I, I started young on, on uh, violin, right. and I was supposed to be a doctor, and forget about the music. When you say right. supposed to, why were you Well, that's what is that, the is your family parental design, ah, parental okay. design, okay. okay. And my sister got all the music lessons, <laughs> and uh, but so I just picked it up from her. And she played uh, flute. And then uh, when I was in high school, I got very interested in dance. Like this dance party CD has a lot of cha-chas and yeah. mambos, Latin dance. And Latin music uses the flute a lot. Uh, so okay. Okay. Uh, I had a lot of uh, Latin American and uh, Puerto Rican, Dominican friends as I grew up and, and would dance to their music and, and then just develop my flute playing in that style so as well. I have a request. Would you play us a number while we go through a few other stretches? Sure. It was so sure. 
inspiring to play to your music. I never okay. thought about it. We were just going to get it. Let's go to Kapota song. Come on our knees. It's very easy to transition into Kapotasan, but this time we're going to do the full posture. All you do is place your palms on the ground in front of the knees, extend the left leg as far as you can go, uncurl your toes, and wiggle your right foot as far forward as you can so you can place your butt on the floor. If your butt doesn't quite reach there, sit on a brick. But make the connection. Sit on a brick if you have to. You shouldn't be in pain, it should be comfortable. Hold your chest out, chin up, keep inhaling. Let's listen to his music. Can we curl the toes? No, uncurl your toes. Inhale, bring your right leg back. Put your right knee on the floor. Very gently, let's take the left leg back. Keep wiggling your left leg all the way back and keep your feet flat. The top of your feet, your uh, top of your right foot is flat, and then wiggle your left foot forward, as far forward as you can come, without hurting yourself or being in pain. Hold, inhale, come up. Enjoy Stefan's music. Exhale. Let's inhale. Bring up. Come back to our knees and very gently sit down on our buttocks and extend. Not extend, actually, bring our feet together in Baddha Kona. That's a cobbler posture. I'm going to stagger myself so I give any some room. Soles together, knees as low as you, you can go today. If you need to sit on a brick, you'll find it's a lot more comfortable and easier to get your knees to the ground. Why don't we demonstrate, why don't you sit on a brick to show people how they can sit on a brick and bring their knees lower. I think my brick is too far back. Okay. The lower your knees go to the ground, the better stretch you get in the front, the pelvic stretch. These are called the adductor muscles. You want to stretch them as much as you can. Clasp both your feet together. Bring your knees down. Inhale. And just like Judy has got the brick under her, she's demonstrating to us how it feels more comfortable. Does mm -hmm. it feel better? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's less painful having a brick under you or some kind of support. Inhale. Bring your chest up. Hold. Enjoy Stefan's music right here. Release. Take your hands up, and we're going to go into cobra position. So we're going to come in prone position first, then go into cobra posture. Extend your legs behind you all the way. A wire running under me. Place your palms directly beneath your shoulders forehead to the ground. That is perfect music for the cobra. Now, you can uncurl your toes, keep them flat, use your abdominal muscles to lift your chest off the ground as you inhale. Inhale, come up, press your palms on the ground. Hold. Exhale, release. Take your left hand, hold your left ankle. We're going to form a bow. Take your right hand, hold your right ankle. Chin is on the ground. As you inhale, lift your chin, chest, and knees off the floor. Inhale, come up. Exhale and release. Let's come back on our back. Turn with our heads to the camera. We're going to go into fish posture. All chest openers today to build lung power so we can play the flute as Stefan does. Place your palms flat under your butt and rest your butt on your palms. Extend your legs out, inhale, and bring your chest, peel your chest off the ground. Hold. Very nice, Stefan. We love it. Exhale and release. We're almost at the end of our sequence. We have one more. 
the bridge posture. So let's stay here with our knees bent, feet flat on the ground. Inhale, lift your hips off the floor. Peel your hips off the floor this time. Inhale, come up, Amy. That's it, very nice. Use the support of your hands. Use your hands to lift your hip. Make sure you don't leave your hands free. That's what they're there for. Exhale and release. Let's extend and get up and enjoy the rest of the minute we have of Stefan's music. Stefan, let's see you. We heard so much about your headset. Come on. Okay, now I let's just want to say minute. this is a gimmick, okay? Oh, we'll, give. we'll try it out. Come on. We'll try it out. Stefan's been just so very sporting. He's going to do the headstand and play the flute. He's going to try it. Wow. Hello. Take your time. Take your time. Whoop, 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 whoop. Wonderful. This is moving a little bit, that's why. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm, Take mm. your time. There's no rush. We still have another 30 seconds. We just want to hear a couple of notes. Well, that's all right. Nope. <coughs> that's all right. Why? Well, you, because it's a move. It is, it is moving. It is moving a little bit. Hold on. Try it again. Try it again. Claudia, keep us on. 